Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. This is the Pete's Parlay Show for uh, NFL Week 11. It's a very interesting week this week. Maybe the most interesting week that we've seen all season. A lot of crazy stuff happening. Tony Romo back, Peyton Manning out, Green Bay sucking, uh, the Pats dealing with uh, maybe one too many injuries now on offense. So a lot of uh, odd situations, and I'm still feeling my way out with uh, the lines this week. I'm just going to have two teams, two legs in the parlay this week. Two teams are going to put the whole hundred on it, and uh, hopefully I'll get a winner. According to uh, Brent from BetDSI, the, uh, the sharpest play as of right now, he would say, is KC over San Diego. San Diego, of course, uh, coming back off we'll the bye, but, uh, you know, the, the Phillip Rivers is down his top two wideouts, a lot of injuries on the offensive line. Then also, once again, the Detroit Lions are supposedly taking sharp action, according to Brett from BSI. From DSI, you know, they've taken sharp action several times this year, last year. I've sort of like called Brent out on it, told him that uh, sounded a little bit suspicious to me. Of course, they're two and seven against the spread this year. Big sharp action on Detroit in the London game. That was a terrible pick. Uh, you know, I discussed the the games this week with uh, with Teddy Covers. I told him I was kind of lean in Oakland, and he agreed. He was lean in Oakland as well. Supposedly sharp action once again came in on Detroit at uh, plus one. The public is on Oakland, though, three to one, which is a little bit surprising. So there's a sharp public split in the Detroit-Oakland game with uh, the public favoring Oakland, the Sharps favoring Detroit. Also with the return of Tony Romo, some sharp action, according to Brent, did come in on Dallas when they were at a pick -em. The public is also uh, favoring Dallas a little bit, and uh, sharp bet did come in there. And if you're wondering about the uh, Green Bay-Minnesota game, Minnesota covered eight straight weeks in a row now, and Minnesota pick did take sharp action from one of the top list guys, according to uh, according to Brent. So uh, some sharp guys at uh, at DSI betting on Minnesota to get a ninth straight cover, at least at Pickham, and the public is still buying on Green Bay, although not overwhelmingly, but at a, at a two to one ratio, according to Brent. And the public's been all over Carolina most weeks this year and uh, winning with them, and they're on them again. Uh, the public taking Carolina, and as of right now, no sharp action on the other side uh, on Washington, according to Brent. I think that's a pretty telling. Brent did say that, uh, you know, if the line creeps up to like eight, or maybe even if it gets to eight and a half or nine, uh, that he wouldn't be surprised at all if sharp action bit at that line. But as of right now, no sharp action at DSI on, on Washington and the public big on Carolina once again. All right, let's get to the borderline picks for this week. A few were borderline. The first one that was borderline, you know, I'm not sure what I would tend to lean towards Buffalo in the New England game, but I'm also leaning towards the under. Uh, I liked it when it was 49. Now it's down to 48 at Bet DSI, and um, you know I, uh, I, that was a borderline pick, thinking that, uh, that the, uh, the issues that New England is having on offense might be a little bit too much for them to be as explosive as we normally see them. Their last two home games did go under. The game against the Giants went over, but you know not explosively over. And now with a new injury to Edelman, I'm thinking that we might see a lower scoring game than uh, than the market is giving credit for. Under 48 in Buffalo, New England was a uh, was uh, was a borderline play, but just decided to uh, leave it out of the parlay. That was probably the most borderline play that I had. Then also Washington, Carolina on the over 44 and a half. That was one that I did bet um, a bit uh, earlier in the week, and uh, you know. Washington, of course, has an offense that should be somewhat productive here. Carolina, we know what they're doing with uh, with uh, with Cam Newton, and they've been uh, generally an overtrender this year. Uh, so I took a I took a shot with a bet on the over in Washington, Carolina, borderline pick in the parlay. Just decided to leave it out. All right, so let's get to the two legs of the parlay this week. Just two legs. The first one. I'm going to take the under in Green Bay, Minnesota. I bet it earlier in the week when it was 45. Now at DSI, it's down to 44 and a half. So I'm going to take the under. I am going to, just for peace of mind, take it at 45 minus 120. We know that Minnesota, uh, their games tend to, uh, very few of their games get over 45. And Green Bay, offensively, it's just not working. So um, I'm thinking that, uh, you know, even if Green Bay winds out, winds up uh, pulling out a win one way or another in this one. Uh, it'll still probably more likely than not be in a lower scoring game. And I'm going to take Green Bay, Minnesota under 45 minus 120 is the first leg of the parlay. Then the second leg, a little bit risky, but I am going to go with it. I'm going to take the under in San Francisco, Seattle. I would much rather have gotten it at the lines that it was earlier in the week, 40 and a half or 40. Even right now, it's 40 at uh, some books. It's only 39 and a half, though, at Bet DSI. All right, hope I don't get burned and the line lands on exactly and the game lands on exactly 40, but if it does, 
you know, whatever. But uh, I'm going to take the under 39 and a half in San Francisco, Seattle. Of course, San Francisco's offense is uh, very conservative with with Gabbert and uh, and the non-explosive offense that they have in general. Seattle, we know that there's some of these home games they play can wind up uh, being very dominant on defense. They get these like, you know, 24 to 3 type home wins, which uh, where they get, you know, big covers, but still the games go way under. I'm thinking we might see that here, especially after uh, giving up all those points last week to uh, Arizona. You might see a strong, strong defensive performance here from Seattle. So I'm going to take the under 39 and a half in San Francisco, Seattle as a second leg in the parlay. So just two legs this week, a two-teamer, $100 to win 250 if both of them win. And that's the uh, Pete's Parlay for NFL Week 11.